Dr. Wu Lin Te, Google Honor Chinese Malaysian epidemiologist, first man to create face mask. See what you need to know. Dr. Wu Lin Te, Google Honor Chinese Malaysian epidemiologist, first man to create face mask. See what you need to know. Google Honor Dr. Wu Lin Te, the Chinese Malaysian epidemiologist who is the first person to create surgical mask, the first face mask for history before the mask that people use to control coronavirus at the moment. To celebrate this big achievement, Google dedicate their doodle to celebrate Dr. Wu on what's supposed to be his 142nd birthday. Google say the doctor is devoted advocate and practitioner of medical advancement. Wu efforts did not only change public health for China, but the whole world. Happy birthday to the man behind the mask, Dr. Wu Lin Te. Google honor Dr. Wu Lin Te. Important facts to know about Dr. Wu Lin Te, dam born Dr. Lin Te for 1879 for one of the straight settlements of Penang, Malaya that was part of British Empire colonization. His father was an immigrant from Taishan, China, and he was a goldsmith. His mother was also from China from the Hakka heritage. Wu has four brothers and six sisters. He start his early education at Penang Free School. At the age of 17, he moved go England and becomes the first medical student from China to get master's degree from Cambridge University before he joined China Imperial Army Medical College as vice director for 1908. He continue his studies at St. Mary Hospital, London, Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, the Pasteur Institute, Halley University, and the Selangor Institute. Wu later went back to Straits Settlements for 1903. He married Ruth Xu Huang. In 1907, Wu and his family migrated to China. In 1907 China, during their stay for China, Wu wife and two of their three sons died. Here he married and get four more children. During the Japanese invasion of Manchuria for November 1931, Japanese authorities arrest Wu on accusation of being Chinese spy. Career, for September 1903, Wu joined the Institute for Medical Research for Kuala Lumpur as the first research student, but no specialist post I on for him. He spent his early medical career doing research on Biri Biri and roundworms before he entered private practice towards the end of 1904. Pneumonic plague. For 1910, one unknown epidemic hit the Manchuria region of China, and the Chinese government appoint Wu to investigate the situation. He identified the disease as a highly contagious pneumonic plague that spread through respiratory transmission that was later known as the Manchurian plague. One of the ways Wu helped to fight the spread of the disease was by designing a surgical mask with cotton and gauze that has plenty layers of cloth to filter inhalations. Wu advised people to wear the mask to protect themselves from the disease. He worked with government to establish quarantine stations and hospitals, restrict travel and apply progressive techniques to sterilize equipment. The doctor leadership helped to end the pandemic for April 1911, within four months he helped in controlling the virus. Wu started the Chinese Medical Association, the largest and oldest non-governmental medical association for 1915. 20 years later, Wu became the first Malaysian and the first person to be nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Death and commemoration, Wu practiced medicine until his death at the age of 80. He buy one new house for Penang for his retirement and complete his 667-page autobiography, Plague Fighter, the autobiography of a modern Chinese physician. Wu advised authorities to impose restrictions on movement, including stopping trains, to limit the spread of the disease, and to instruct sick people to self-isolate. He also persuaded officials to authorize the cremation of dead bodies, which wasn't normally accepted in China. The last case of the disease, which killed an estimated 60,000 people, was recorded in March 1911. It came to be known as the Manchurian Plague. Wu chaired an international conference on the plague that year, helping disseminate knowledge about how to respond to outbreaks. The epidemic helped convince China's leaders of the need for a modern public health service, and Wu helped establish it in numerous roles before returning to Malaysia in 1937. On 21 January 1960, he died of stroke at his house. Plenty people wrote too many good things about Dr. Wu and on do many things to honor his memory. Some of them was, on July 2020, publish collaborative article of medical and scientific descendants for the first time to remember and honor Dr. Wu lifetime work in public health. On August 2020, a second joint article to honor Dr. Wu was published by a second group of his medical and scientific descendants. On March 2021, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Google honor Dr. Wu with a doodle.
Dr. Wu Lin Te great granddaughter, Dr. Shan Wu Liu, is attending physician for Massachusetts General Hospital at ND Associate Professor of Emergency Medicine for Harvard Medical School. Dr. Wu Lin Te, face mask pioneer who helped defeat a plague epidemic. Today's Google Doodle celebrates Wu Lin Te, an epidemiologist who pioneered the use of face masks to control an epidemic more than a century before the advent of COVID-19. Born in Penang, Malaysia, on 10 March 1879, and educated in the UK, Wu was recruited to work on a deadly disease outbreak in northeastern China in December 1910. The first people to be affected were marmot trappers and fur traders, who were part of a flourishing trade in marmot pelts in the region. From a post-mortem examination the first performed in China Wu succeeded in isolating and culturing the bacterium responsible for the disease, identifying it as Yersinia pestis, which was known from earlier bubonic plague epidemics. Wu understood that the disease could be spread by respiratory droplets and wasn't just caught from rats or fleas, as many believed at the time. Wu produced a mask made from cotton and gauze, with extra layers of cloth and more secure ties, to improve on previous designs. He encouraged medical staff and others to wear these masks to protect themselves, the first time widespread mask use had been part of an epidemic control strategy. It was met with some resistance, however, a French colleague died of the plague after refusing to wear a mask.